My name is Dr. Dori Carlson, and I am the president-elect of the American Aquaponic Association, and I am kicking off my 2020 school tour. And what's happening is I'm going to visit or make 20 stops during the course of the next two years, or specifically the next 20 months, to all of the schools and colleges of optometry and optometry is meeting, spreading the message of membership to our students, our faculty, and recent alumni who might be living in the area of the schools that we're, uh, that we're visiting. Pacific University last weekend and it was great. Uh, I got to do a couple of different things. I got to have a dessert reception with the faculty and we had probably about 30 people in there. Had a great think tank meeting with faculty. We also had a presentation where we had about 250 students. And then what I did is I got to uh, go into a little smaller group and we had a town hall meeting with some of the students which I thought was absolutely phenomenal. I thought it would only last for about an hour and it went two hours. So it was, everybody was active and engaged and having fun. They had great questions. Um, it was just a wonderful time to be able to um, kind of just touch base with each other and find out what AOA is about, what the students' concerns were, what their student debt level was, what their concerns for the future were. Um, kind of myth busting as well. You know, there's this myth that um, AOA is only for private practice optometry, which is not true. Let's be very clear. We don't care where you work. We want you to be involved and engaged in your profession, and that's what this is about. What, going to the schools specifically, because what we're finding is that um, as far as membership in the AOA is concerned, our current statistics tell us that five years out after school or after graduation, we only have 55% of the new grads still being members in AOA. We are not going to thrive and succeed if we don't have members in our association. And so what we're trying to do is get the message about what AOA can do to help our members and specifically for those new graduates and help them in building their careers and their professions. And so that's why we really targeted the schools. I, I'd like to think of the fact that I, I am going to be president of the American Optometric Association not because I'm a female, but because I did a good job and I got here because of that and not because of my gender. Um, however, it, that said, is that if there's just a little bit of a different messenger who spreads the news and spreads, um, looks like some of our students might look as far as gender is concerned, that maybe they'll see, well, if she can do it, then maybe I can too. If you want to follow the tour, the best way is to check in with Dory's 2020 tour. I'm going to be doing a blog from the road. I'll have pictures loaded from the different places that we've been and also have feedback from the students and I'm hoping to make it really interactive. You can also follow it on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and AOA Connect, AOA's own form of Facebook. So I'll see you there.